Well, pretty much everyone knew they'd known since last Sunday. It had been discussed everywhere, go and get your hair cut, and they would tell you who the BBC presenter was. And tonight, we learned, just before six o'clock, from Hugh Edwards' wife, Vicky Flynn, who put out a statement and she said, I'm making this statement on behalf of my husband, Hugh Edwards, after what has been five extremely difficult days for our family. I'm doing this primarily out of concern for his mental well-being and to protect our children. And I can imagine that for Hugh Edwards' wife, for those children, for his elderly mother living in South Wales, all of this will be a complete nightmare, as indeed it will be for Hugh Edwards itself. I'll declare an interest. I know Hugh Edwards. I know his wife. Uh, we have something in common together through Dulwich College in South London, where his wife was a governor for many years. And indeed, I went there. One of my sons went there. Some of his kids went there too. I've always liked Hugh Edwards. Uh, I've got huge respect for him. In many ways, as a broadcaster, he'd become the modern-day Dimbleby. You know, he was the man that commentated on the great state occasions, and no-one could doubt how professional he was as a broadcaster. So what's really gone on here, and what are we allowed to say? I think the whole thing is very sad, actually. I think there is clearly somebody here who's been living a life that clearly wasn't quite consistent with the way that he really felt about the world. And that's about as far as I can go at this moment in time. But I think you'll all understand what I am saying. Was he done wrong? Well, I felt from the beginning I couldn't see any criminality, and that's now been confirmed by the Metropolitan Police. But the Sun newspaper had these stories, and they've run them for day after day after day. And this is effectively the end of Hugh Edwards' career. He has not behaved well, and morally, you couldn't stand up and support what he'd done. But who of you out there have lived perfect lives? I reckon the answer would actually be very, very few. So is this a matter of public interest? Has the Sun newspaper done the right thing? 